Well, it's been a while since I uploaded a vlog, so I thought I'd do one today because I've got something a little bit interesting, if you like eating fish. Um, not so much outdoors, you know, well I'm out, I'm in the, I'm in the uh, carport, but, uh, so it's not particularly outdoors, however it's got an outdoors theme, as in it's, uh, it's a product of nature, a product of fishing, and it's a way that over in, here in Denmark, I'm presuming in other places as well, they preserve herring, they preserve the herring in a brine, a really salty brine, and they can stay there for years in this brine, and then, they look something like this. Look at the salt. I'll just bring it close to the camera. Caked in salt. It's an old fashioned me method of preserving. Now, you're thinking, well, what the hell do you do with those salted herrings? First of all, you've got to get the salt out of them. You couldn't eat that. that is. So what you do is you, you, you soak it in fresh water Anything from four hours to twelve hours, depending on how how what you salt, what you what how 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 salty you like your food. So, as this is my first attempt, and I like salt. Now these are big herrings. Look, I mean, if you, these are big winter autumn herrings. I did say recently that. We'll be doing some herring fishing in the harbour. Um, let's have a think how many is there. One, two, three. If I do four. Oh, that one's got some milts in. Or some roe anyway. So that'd be nice. And um, so there we are. It's as simple as that. The big salted herrings, the brined herrings, are now in this fresh water. And they're going to get. The water will draw the salt out. And then they'll be ready for cooking. So how am I going to cook them? Well, what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to pickle them. Pickled herrings. The old days, these call them roll mops. Very popular in Denmark as well as England. Um, the Danish roll mop, uh, as it's called, is quite, it's quite sweet. They use a lot of sugar in the, in the, uh, in the vinegar. Whereas, the ones I remember in my young days, back in the 70s, they were quite sour and vinegary. I, I do a compromise between the two. I'm, I don't make them as sour as they used to be back then, but I don't make them as sweet as how the Danes like them. I, I like them a bit more, a, a bit of bite in them anyway. So there's uh, four big herrings in there. And how many have I got left? Just, let's have a scene here. Wow, that water's cold. One, two, three, four. So that's another four big ones in there. So I think I think I'll just do four today. As I said, they can they can uh, stay in that brine. Sort of indefinitely, really. Ooh, it's so salty. They're unbelievable. Big, big herrings. One, two, three, four. I'll just check there aren't any more. Oh, yeah, there is, there is. Oh, the six. All right, then. These are big, beautiful herrings. Whoa. I think I'll do one more. Yep, I'm going to do one more. There we are, then. Make sure they're all down in the brine. That's very important. So, some... There we are. God, that water's freezing. Yeah. So they can stay down there. And I think I'll put those somewhere else. Now. I've explained the basic principle. You've seen that the the the, uh, the the herrings in brine. You've heard what I'm going to do with them. But now there's not much I can do, apart from wait. So I've got some other bits and bobs and jobs to do today. So I'll come back to this later, and uh, we'll 
we'll make some pickled herrings which will be really nice now I'm hoping uh, sometime around this Christmas period to get down to the harbour which is in Frederick's Hound Frederick's Haven Frederick's Hound um, because normally around winter, uh, Christmas time the, the big shoals of herring come in so I can get some fresh herrings now some of the old boys down there that fish they're local lads they've been you know they're, they're, they're all pensioners they, they actually preserve the herrings but but not in a brine but in a dry salt so they'll have a layer of thick salt a layer of herring, a layer of salt, a layer of herring, and again, it, but it's the same principle. So that they go down the harbour, and the pensioners so they can go down the day, and they, they get they get barrels of the things, and then throughout the year, when the when the herring are gone, they just take these herring up when it when it suits them, and they'll they'll, they'll do what I'm doing in the water to get the salt off, and yeah, and do their pickled herrings, old-fashioned traditional stuff, which is what I really like. So yeah, I'll make another vlog on uh, the, the pickling of the herrings. So. I'll catch you all later. Oh, one more thing. Someone I follow on, on um, YouTube, Rob's Homemade Life, he made like a fish pate with pilchards. And I was actually thinking of making a fish pate with these with these uh, herrings. Maybe smoke them. Not, not today, but another day. Um, that'd be good. But uh, shout out to Rob. I've, uh, I've enjoyed watching your channel for quite a few years now, so just so you know that, it's really good. Um, it's funny, you feel as though you know people, it's only over the internet. <laughs> but yeah, no, there's some people you seem, you seem to have a, like, a, you're like-minded, you think the same. And you can you, you can work it out by the comments. And, but yeah, so there we are then. Shout out to Rob's Homemade Life. Right, I'll talk to you all later.